it's Zena, a warthog princess, and welcome to another What's in My Bag video. This one is going to feature the Jujubee Mini Bee in the Duchess print. It's part of the Legacy Collection. It is black with white polka dots, and it has gold fittings on it. So there's the plate, and then the zippers are black, but the zipper pulls are also gold. So this is a great little purse backpack. And I did recently get this. This is the first time I'm using it. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, yeah. So before we get too deep into it, I will say a couple things about this material. This material is completely waterproof. It's Teflon treated, so it's totally wipeable. You can put it in the washing machine. It's just amazing. I love it. It's like perfect for COVID times. And so you could just really keep it clean and sanitary. Very great. Um, also, all the interiors are very light, so you can find all your stuff inside, which is wonderful. But they're fun prints and fun shapes and sizes, and yeah, much more to come on that subject. On here, I have a Vera Bradley bag charm. This is Berry Mary, so it's a little white polar bear. And in here, um, here, let me just unclip it for a sec. It does have the quick release hook on it, and it's a spinny loop, so it fits really nicely on the top carriage handle on the bag. Not really a lot of other places to hook it, honestly. Um, but what this is, is I just have a little hand sanitizer in there. So it's not super quick access, but it is on the outside of the bag. So it's just a bath and body works. This one is just chilling, sparkling icicles. So obviously I got that during the holidays. And inside you just have a gray polka dots with little bunnies. But I just thought, well, you know, it kind of matches. And it's definitely winter. We had snow this week, so yeah. Yay Tucson. A little unusual for us, but quite nice. I really like the snow. Only because I don't have to shovel it and drive in it and, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, so other things about the bag. It has, oops, <laughs> one pocket on the front. It is a magnetic snap pocket with the flap there. It does have its own gusset, as you can see. We'll get what's inside in a minute. It has a double zipper entry. On the back, you have your top carriage handle, and then you have your backpack straps which are padded and meshed, as is the back of the bag. Also padded and meshed, and then you can see the cute star quilting. It's kind of a jujube star thing. The quilting actually and the mesh allows breathability, so that's not gonna completely make you sweat. It's really bad. I mean, you still might sweat, but um, yeah. But just throw the bag in the washer, it's great. It does have a pretty generous adjustability on these. And it does also have this little label right here. It says Jujube and it has a little metallic star like a, like a rivet on there. Okay, but now let's talk for just a moment about these straps. So because of the way that this fitting is right here and the nature of this material, these can work themselves loose. So right away this morning, that happened to me. So here's, I didn't realize it had worked itself out, right? So I'm getting out of my truck, I grabbed a hold of the bag, I threw it over my shoulder, and thinking, not realizing that had happened, just like that. Um, let me just kind of set it in there for just a sec. So not realizing that had come out, I let go, because I thought I was slung over my shoulder, and the whole entire bag dropped straight to the ground. Thankfully I didn't break my phone, it was in the front pocket. So that drove me to come to a solution. And here's what I did, and I'm gonna show you before we go to the inside of the bag, so bear with me. Um, what I figured out, two things. I had seen on previous videos that you could buy a little metallic fitting that you could thread over this, put your strap through here like normal. You go up through both and then back through one, so you're fitted and then you can adjust. Um, and then you could put that other fitting down here and it would hold the strap and that would keep it from working itself loose. As far as I know that works, I bought those fittings but I have not tried it yet. And I hadn't put it on here because I kind of wanted to give it a try and I didn't imagine it would happen that quick on the first pull. Um, plus those that I bought were silver and this is gold fitting, so yeah, okay. But anyway, when I got home, I had another solution and I think for me, for this bag, it's even better. Um, and what that is, is I put a snap on here. So I'm a big girl and this bag is, although it is sized appropriate for me, it, there's not a lot of slop. So I went straight to the end is how I was using it. So it was very easy for it to just come straight out when it came out. But I put this snap on here and you really almost can't see it. It looks like it belongs there. 
So it's just a plastic snap. I installed both ends of it. So now I have it threaded normally and then I just snap it to itself and now it cannot just work itself out. It will stay connected. So smart. I'm so happy with myself. <laughs> not an ego statement at all, totally not, but there is an idea. And I'm going to show you real quick just how easy that is to do. Because I have right here my other mini bee that fell on the floor. <laughs> um, and this one is in prism rose, so it's black and then it has this very faintly orange and pink. You almost can't even tell it's pink, but it looks like rose gold. And then the fittings are rose gold. And it has the same kind of straps. So let me share with you what I did. I bought on Amazon, uh, because I had seen someone that did a video, and I'm sorry, I've forgotten who it was. I could find the video, but anyways, that had put gussets on their BRB backpack so that the thing wouldn't fall, anyways. But I'd seen them and that's why I bought this kit. So you have this little snap installer tool um, with your pokey thing. I don't even know what all this stuff is called, but here you go. But it comes in a nice little case. There's your thing. And all I need out of here is the poker. And then I bought this little kit that has all these different colors of snaps. Because I didn't know what I might use it for, but I sure as heck could figure out some stuff. And already today, wham, perfect need arose and solution was at hand. So let's see what might match best with this one. It is black. I wonder if these brown ones might go well. Maybe, maybe black again. I think I'm gonna run out of black. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go with black. So what you have to do, I mean, it does come with the installation instructions pictorially with words also, but basically you just gotta pick out the pieces from here. You're gonna need four of the little spikes, two for each, wait, two here, two, yeah, four of them. And all four pieces are in here together, so you kinda gotta weed them out. So you need four of those, and you're gonna need two of each of the halves of the snap, male and female side, and you can figure it out by looking at them. So, here we go. That is what we need. So I'm gonna close this up, and this is this is how we're gonna do it. So what I'm gonna do is just adjust the strap to where I want it. Y'all, this is gonna be so fast, it's so easy. Okay, so I want it there, pretty much the end, and I'm just gonna pull it through because I need it to be all the way in the end spot so that I can snap it. And I'm gonna do both sides the same and I'm gonna make sure that they're pretty even as I can. You could measure it with the measuring thing. I'm just gonna eyeball it, it's not that critical. I mean, it's important to be close, but you know, not to the nano fart, it'll be close. All right, so let's see. Side by side till I get them right. Okay, so they are even. So now I have it right here. So you have that short tab. And I'm just gonna eyeball this right where it starts to taper down to a point there. Right in the middle between there is where I'm gonna take my tool. It's just a pokey tool. And I'm gonna poke a hole straight through both straps. And you might have to just kind of work it through. Be careful to put it between your fingers, not into your finger. You could certainly use a thimble to help preserve your fingertips. But you can see it just, you just kind of go like that and it eventually works its way through. See that? So it comes through. And then I just work it down a little bit to just kind of widen that hole for a sec. And the reason you're doing both at the same time is because now that hole is perfectly aligned where you want your snaps centered up. Now, you're gonna take the pointy piece, the little thumbtack looking one, and let's do the top piece first, the tab. So you're gonna put that poke it through the hole of just that one layer. Make sure it's on there really good. And then you're gonna take, in this case, I wanna use the male piece on the top. That's just my preference. So you put those together and then you take this, and I know you can't see it super great from where you are, but you're just gonna put the two ends of the thing over that, and then you're just gonna squeeze down. You don't even have to squeeze that hard, honestly. 
But there you go. Now your snap top half is installed. You do the same thing on the bottom, obviously with the female half. But you put your pokey through the back side towards the middle. And then you take the female side of the snap and you set that on there and you do the same thing. Just squeeze and there you go. Both ends of the snap are installed. Oh crap. One of them not installed. Where did I drop it? I guess I didn't push hard enough. That's okay. I fix it. Put it right back on there. I didn't push hard enough because it wasn't seated all the way through apparently. That's all right. I think that's on there much better this time. Nope. Okay, so this is the first time I've experienced this little problem. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this little thumbtack out and I'm going to widen the hole a little bit so that, that thumbtack goes... Oh, I need a new thumbtack piece because uh, that's why. I guess not all snaps are created equal. Let's try this again. So the male side once more. And we'll just have to get a new... There we go. It popped right in. Okay. Yeah, this time it's on there for real. Um, yeah, so imperfect, but so simple. Snap, and now there it is, both sides. Very discreet, looks like it belongs there. It's a little more obvious on this pattern, um, but I didn't really want to put an orange snap on there. So there we go. So that's one side, and then you do the same thing with the other side. And I'm just going to verify this hasn't slipped or moved. It's the proper length. Yep, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna poke the holes right through the middle. And then just work it through, work it through. It does take a little bit of pressure to get through, especially if you're doing both layers at the same time. But trust me, it's worth it just to be patient and just work it through. Okay. Now, we have one of the thumbtack ends. We need another one. Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll do it just like we did. We'll put the thumbtack through the top. Honestly, it's taking me longer to explain it than it is to do it. Um, yeah, sometimes you just have to work that hole a little bit. You can't get your thumbtack piece through, just widen the hole a little. Just a little, not a lot. Because as you saw in my first attempt, if you don't get that thumbtack pushed all the way through, it's not gonna grab the other side of the snap very well. Lesson learned. Okay, I am not an expert. This is now my second time doing this. Both of them were today. So my vast experience is clearly showing. All right, so there's one half. Here comes part two with the, ooh. It also doesn't matter which side you make, the male or the female. Personally, I'm anal retentive, so I want them all to be the same as, as each other and as other bags that I did. So I will do them all exactly the same because I'm that OCD or whatever, obsessive about things. Okay, here comes the female side, and we'll just pinch that on. We'll get back on the hole. And we are complete. Two beautiful new snaps, and now my straps are secured. They're not gonna work themselves loose. And if I wanna unthread them, you just unsnap it and you pull that right through and you're unthreaded. So you lose nothing and you gain integrity of the strap, which is very important because you don't wanna be dropping your bag on the ground every time you sling it over your shoulder. So there you go. All right, now let's look at what's in my bag. I'll just put this away after. But let's close the snaps though because I don't want snaps all over my, my room here. Okay. That one is garbage. So back to the bag. So what's in my bag? This time we're not doing a transition. I've already moved into the bag this morning and so we'll just kind of run through. You already know what's in there. 
In this front flap pocket, well, first of all, you get a look at that golden interior, which is nice. It's antimicrobial treated as well, which is great. In here, I have the mask that I'm using, which is a Vera Bradley mini concerto pattern. It's a cotton mask. It does not have a filter in it, but I do have filters in here. I just haven't loaded it. This is my next clean mask in the rotation because I thought it matched kind of nice. And then I have my phone in there, my 6S Plus, and it just fits really nicely in there with room to spare. This pocket does have a gusset, so it's a little bit, you know, move around, but it's not a problem. And the mask fits in there with it, so I'm just going to leave that in there. And I'm going to leave the phone out because I'm not going anywhere for the rest of the night. All right, so double zipper on the top. I have a bit of a pattern palooza going on in here, but it's kind of a mixy matchy. So it's all kind of black and white themed. So right away you can see, you open the bag, the zippers come all the way down the sides, but it has a built-in gusset. So you don't have to make any modifications, but your bag will open up very accessibly, but yet securely. It's not gonna like just dump everything out. So there you can see all my little pouches in my backpack purse. This backpack, the Mini B, is, is very, very simple. You have the one flat pocket on the front and one privacy zipper in the back, which is actually quite small, and that's it. But I love that about this bag because I have a bazillion and one pouches now, and this is how I'm gonna use them. So let's look at what we have. Let's start with that pocket. In this pocket, I have some nail stuff. Um, so you may have heard my sister is doing Color Street now, that's why I'm having fun with lots of colors. But she has given me a bunch of these little sample packs that has like four strips of the given colors. So they're all different colors. Um, there's even French tip samplers. So you can do several different accent nails or just practice putting on the polish, see if you like it. It comes with her business card, the sample, an alcohol swab, a little vial, and a cuticle pusher, which you use to like smooth and shape the nails. Anyway, if you're interested, you want one, just send me a note down below or you can email me my email. I'll put the link down below as well and I can send them to you. I'm not trying to sell you anything, but hey, if you want a free sample, I got gotcha, you right here. And uh, we'll talk more about it. If you do want like actual color street, yeah, we can talk about that too, but there you go. So I just keep those in there in case I run into someone that um, wants them. And then I have just my business card holder there and I put that in there as well. So things I don't really need to access all the time, it's just up there discreetly tucked away. Um, and then pouch wise, let's start, uh, let's start with the front. So I have the small set piece with the short strap attached as a wristlet strap. This is in Night Stars, like K-N-I-T, K-N-I-G-H-T, like King Arthur's Knights, Knights of the Round Table kind of a knight. Um, it does have gold fittings. This is a great little piece. I have in here an assortment of oral care, if you will, and that's it. So this one also has like a gold interior, so it kind of matches also. So I have some Mentos mints, the sugar-free. I have some gum, uh, toothpick, dental floss things. I have three of these Listerine breath strips, different flavors. I have a little Minnie Mouse lip gloss and an Eos sweet mint, like lip balm, chapstick kind of a thing. And they all just fit really nicely in there. And so I have that. And I have the strap on it just because it's a little shorter. So in the front, it's just perfectly the height of the fold. But if it ends up behind the pouches, I can still just grab that loop and pull it out. So we'll leave that out for a moment. And then let's just pull all them out and we'll put everything back in as we go. Let's do it that way. Okay, so there's the empty bag with nothing. And now it has pouch one back in. So this is the clamshell sunglass case. It is a hard shell. It's soft and padded with cotton, but it is hard and protective. So in there I have, which ones do I have in here? Uh, I have romantic paisley Vera Bradley sunglasses in there. Sort of fun. doesn't really match the bag. <laughs> and then I have a sunglass white. Yeah. So that's in there. Um, keys. So I grabbed, since I kind of had the mini concerto, I sort of did a mixy matchy. I have the double edged keychain from Vera Bradley. This one actually has three ways you can use it. This middle piece is a pop it, so you can actually take that ring completely off um, or use it different ways, hook another ring on, whatever, and then you just pop that back through like that. 
one end, this end, has a quick release on it, so I have a quick release ring. But I have a carabiner with my mail keys, and I have this piece, which is my shopping tag bag charm from Vera Bradley in denim navy. On the other end of the key, I have a carabiner, so I can detach anything and reshuffle these any which way. But on this end, I have my key fob for my truck, I have my medic alert thing, and then I have like house keys. So I can just, you know, re reshuffle them all different ways. But in total, it just kind of goes in the bag. All right, then we have um, lug. So I have my lug runway envelopes in the black. It's a two-piece set and it's clear view all the way through. So even here, I have some extra masks, clean masks. I have some Vera ones. I have the lug wildflower black with the pouch. And then I have some filters in here as well. By the way, if you haven't heard, I'm not an expert, but just regurgitating this little tidbit. They're starting to say now that one mask may not be sufficient with all these new strains of COVID. So they're saying two or even three masks. I don't know how that applies if you have filters and whatnot, but something to think about. I was already carrying multiple masks with me anyways, but now for sure, for sure, I will definitely have some. So if I'm in a higher threat environment, I will definitely double up or more. Just me, personally. Um, okay, the larger one is my tech pouch. So I have lots in here. I have my Bose wired headphones. I've got a screen wipe. I've got a charging cable, two external batteries, my squeezy flashlight, which is very bright. That's on Amazon. Um, yeah, so I got all of that in there. And it's perfect. I got the plug and the cable and that just goes right there. I also have my little Erin Condren, um, I guess you call it a pocket agenda. So it has my, my calendars. So I have it on the go. It's every day at home I have my big one. But this is perfect for all my bags, and I'll just put that right behind everything. And this will go in the front. Let me shuffle this around a little bit. Okay, so then I have the medium set piece in the Night Stars. So there's the small piece and the medium piece. So the small pieces usually have a tag on the side and one loop on it. So there you go. And the medium and the large have two loops, so you could, I know you probably have seen these, but in case you haven't seen all the B sets that I've been acquiring where we talk about all this, here you go. So this allows a grab and go option. Now I don't have it packed this way, but look, you have this cute little purse. I mean, it doesn't really fit over my shoulder, but I could, you know, just a little clutch. That's kind of cute. Or you can make this one into a wristlet as well. But like I said, I have this purposefully set up as a little I won't say her name again Kelly gets a little disturbed when that little dot the echo dot starts talking I'm sorry I don't know what she thought I said but yeah that's inspiration to unplug it anyways the medium and large have the metal plates so open this one up this one is for sure a catch-all and um, let's go through it I'm just gonna take it all out and put it back in this is a great size catch-all, by the way. Nothing inside. You have a slim journal. This is Vera Bradley. This one is not lined, but it is the mini concerto. And I also grabbed the matching pen, which is mini concerto on the bottom and concerto on the top. Those were like the paired patterns, and it's a twist pen, ballpoint pen. So I have those in there. And then I also have my Vera Bradley manicure kit in Holland Garden that, you know, matches the sunglass case, so I stuck with it. Then I have my space pen, which is a red pen, black pen, and a pencil all in one. And it writes upside down, which I love. You never know. You need to write a note on a wall. I have two rubber bands, a little comb. I have eucalyptus mint, Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer spray, and I have the antimicrobial, antiviral, antifungal, yeah, anti-everything spray. Um, these are little glass containers that I bought on Amazon that you can fill with whatever you want. This spray I got from Amazon as well, by the way. Um, then I have some glucose tabs just in case me or someone else has a, you know, low sugar emergency. I've got my multi-tool 
card. You can kind of see all the shapes of the, that's like a Swiss Army knife, but in a card. Then I have four wet ones, fresh scent antimicrobial wipes. Kills 99.99% .99 of germs and it's hypoallergenic. Anyways, one wipe per pouch, those are good. Great to have on the go. I've got a Bath & Body Works Black Cherry Merlot Lotion. And I threw in there a Atkins S'mores Bar, 15 grams of protein, four grams of net carbs. Um, and they're quite delicious. But just in case I'm out and about and I get hungry, I can have a healthy, it's actually a meal replacement bar, not a snack, but anyway. So I'm not just gonna stop and get fast food just because I'm starving. I will be smart. So just in case, then I just have that with me always. All right. Since it's not summer, I don't have to worry about it melting all, everything all the time. Okay, so the last thing is the wallet. So I have here the Be Rich. This is a Juju B wallet. It's a trifold style, and it is in the Duchess print, so it directly matches the bag. Um, it has the gold plate on the front. On the back, it has this zipper pocket, so it goes around and down. And, oops, I have the tag in there. The coin purse there, if you need it or use it for whatever, it doesn't have to be coins. And then your trifold here. So, oops, that's a check I need to cash. Um, so I'm gonna cover my ID, but what you can see here is there are card slots everywhere. There are six on this side, three and three, and that's where I put my cash drawer, right there. It's the, the wider slot. And then on this side, there are one, two, three, four, five, six card slots up the middle. The bottom one is the clear window. And then on this side, you have a big slip behind. So I have like, I have my med list and I have a little thing again with some stamps and address labels. I don't know. Back in the day, I guess I would needed those on the go. And then I have just some other cards on this side, three and three. And you can double stuff these cards. I don't have any of them. Well, no, I do. I have one, two, two of them double stuffed, but I could add more cards for sure. And it has capacity. It does just have the one snap, but the material, it, it has enough give to it. But it's very nice. And it's real slim and trim profile. So it slides very nicely right into the bag. And so now that everything is back in there, oops, wait. Let me put my check back in here. I put it in the front so I wouldn't forget to cash it. On Monday. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So inside, everything just lines up. Bam, 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 bam. And zip it up, good to go. And that is what's in my bag. Wait, don't get the gusset stuck in the zipper. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you found that helpful. I'm, I'm enjoying all these new bags, trying and experimenting. I have a lot more videos coming. Um, not today, but tomorrow we'll sit down and crank some more out for you. Um, in case you're wondering what is coming next, um, not necessarily in this order, but I have a lug haul, a GGB haul. Um, I had a request for Scuttle versus Glenna, which is um, Lug versus Vera Bradley, and I was going to do that anyways, but I bumped it up by the request. Then we'll do a Glenna collection and review of all the different kinds of Glennas, and then we will do also, I had a request for the Vera Bradley Deluxe Altogether Crossbody versus the Coupe. So that, of course, will then be expanded and we'll go through that. And we also have a planning video where, you know, a plan with me to just decorate together. We'll see how that goes. So lots of lots of things coming, more things coming in the mail because I've been very, very bad. My halo was a little tilted. I need to buckle down next month, but so much to share. So hope you're doing well. Stay safe, stay happy. Um, Valentine's right around the corner, so share your love. <laughs> Bye for now. Washi washi.